Michael Schumacher reigns in the highly competitive, elite and glamorous world of Formula One auto racing. He has held the world records for most wins and most championship points in F1 and the record for most wins in 2002. Arguably the second greatest F1 driver in history. Welcome to the Rich Rabbit. And today, we'll be talking about the life story of the one and only Michael Schumacher. But first things first, if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, please do consider doing it. And don't forget to click the bell icon. Schumacher was born on January the 3rd, 1969, in the town of Hürth, North Rhine-Westphalia, Germany, to Rolf, a construction worker, and Elizabeth. When he was young, he showed interest in racing, and his parents encouraged him by building him his own car. Both his parents worked hard, so that they could support their son in fulfilling his dreams. In 1982, a young Schumacher won the German Junior Car Championship. The following year, he was given his driving license at the tender age of 14. He then went on to win several car championships. He also worked as a mechanic to support himself. The enthusiastic racer participated in entry-level championships such as the Formula Koenig and Formula Ford in 1988, earning an emphatic win in Formula Koenig. His younger brother Ralph and stepbrother Sebastian are also Formula One racers. Michael and Ralph would go on to become the first siblings to finish first and second in the same race. In 1990, Michael competed in the Formula 3 Championship of Germany for the WTS team. The same year, he competed in the World Sports Prototype Championship as part of the Mercedes Junior Racing Program. He did that along with racers like Karl Wendlinger and Heinz Harald Frenzen. Schumacher drove the sober Mercedes C11 car and placed first in the final race at Autodromo Hermanos Rodriguez. He finished fifth in the tournament despite participating in only three out of the nine races. In 1991, he took part in World Sports Car Championship and emerged victorious driving a sober Mercedes-Benz C291. The same year, he also participated in the Japanese Formula 3000 Championship and placed second. In 1991, the young driver competed in a Formula 1 race for the Jordan Grand Prix team and finished seventh. The same year, he placed fifth in the Italian Grand Prix, defeating Nelson Piquet. In 1992, he participated in the Mexican Grand Prix and the Belgian Grand Prix, finishing third and first respectively. He also competed in a Formula One race for the Benetton 4 team, scoring a total of 53 points. The next year, he won a race at the Portuguese Grand Prix but lost most of the other races. In 1994, Michael competed in the Formula One Championship, participating in 16 races and winning 9. The same year, at the Australian Grand Prix, the racer was involved in an accident with British racer Damon Hill. Subsequently, the English media blamed Schumacher for the incident. In 1995, he won the Formula One Championship for Team Benetton, once again winning 9 races like the previous season. The following year, Schumacher left Benetton to sign a contract with Ferrari and remained with the latter for 10 years. He won the championship for the team on five occasions and was offered a remuneration of $60 million. In 1996, he finished the competition with 59 points. He scored 78, 86 and 44 points respectively in the next three years. The year 2000 saw Michael began his successful journey as he earned 108 points in the Formula 1 championship. He won the race that year and went on to earn a victory on each occasion for the next four years with 123, 
144, 93, and 148 points respectively. In the 2005 F1 Championship, the rules were changed, with drivers allowed to use only one set of tires for the entire race. The Ferrari team used Bridgestone tires that required frequent replacing. When the rules were changed, teams using Michelin tires won most of the races, while the six drivers using Bridgestone tires had to drop out. The only competition that Schumacher won in the 2005 season was the United States Grand Prix, where he finished third, scoring a total of 62 points. The following year, he struggled to win at the Monaco Grand Prix, where he finished fifth. He also took part in the Grand Prix held at Canada, Italy and China. Following the 2006 Formula One season, he retired for a period of four years. During this period, Michael acted as an advisor to the Ferrari team and assisted the CEO of Ferrari, Jean Todd. He was also appointed as a substitute for the injured racer Massa. However, Schumacher had to pull out at the last moment owing to a neck injury. The spot was filled by Italian racers Luca Bador and Giancarlo Fisichella. In 2010, Michael made a comeback, this time racing for the Mercedes team with German racer Nico Rosberg. But because of a major accident in Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, he finished 9th in the championship, scoring just 72 points. In the next two years, he did not fare well in the F1 championships, finishing 8th and 13th respectively. In 2012, he announced his decision to retire once again, after the Brazilian Grand Prix. That's quite a stellar career, but now let's talk about the awards and achievements, shall we? In April 2002, he was named a UNESCO champion for strongly advocating education for children. He shares this honor with footballer Pelé, gymnast Sergi Bobka, and tennis player Justine Hannon. In 2002 and 2004, Michael was named the Laureus World Sportsman of the Year. He has been nominated for the award six times, sharing the honor with the tennis legend Roger Federer. In 2006, he was felicitated with the FIA Gold Medal for Motorsport to commemorate his success. The following year, he won the Prince of Asturias Award for Sport for his racing career as well as his philanthropic contributions. In 2010, the French government honored this brilliant racer with the Legion of Honor Award, the highest of its kind in France. In 2014, the Millennium Trophy was conferred upon the celebrated racer at the Bambi Awards. Schumacher got married to Karina Betch in August 1995. The couple has a daughter named Gina Marie and a son named Mick. Mick is also a race car driver affiliated to the Ferrari Driver Academy and now participates in F1, representing Haas F1 team. In the cruelest of ironies, after surviving so many seasons in his dangerous profession, Schumacher's first year in permanent retirement ended with him suffering a very serious head injury. It happened when he fell while on a family skiing holiday. Following the accident that left him in a coma for several months, his family brought him home, where he faced a lengthy rehabilitation period. The need for speed was always there, However, he replaced competing with sports such as horse riding and motorcycling. Ironically, at the time of the skiing accident that posed the greatest challenge of his life, he was only traveling 10 miles per hour. If the power of public opinion could help his recovery, it came in the form of a tremendous outpouring of messages of hope, support and encouragement for the sport's most successful driver. The former Formula One driver loves football, regularly attending football matches organized for charity. He's an ardent follower of the matches played by football teams such as Newcastle United and the German team Cologne. Michael is also known for his contributions to charitable causes like education for children and the development of poverty-stricken areas. 
he has helped UNESCO by donating 1.5 million euros. He has also donated money to many philanthropic organizations, including Palace for the Poor in Peru. He donated $10 million to help rebuild after the 2004 Indian Ocean earthquake. Michael Schumacher took the sport of F1 to another era. He set the bar very high, but fortunately he also made ways for people like Lewis Hamilton, who went on to break his records. So there you have it, Rich Rabbit fans. We sure hope you liked the video, and if you did, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon. Your valuable suggestions are very important to us, so do post them in the comment section. And I'll see you in the next video.